Hello and welcome to SAP on Microsoft Azure. My name is Holger Bruchelt and today I'd like to talk about the ABAP SDK for Azure. So what is the ABAP SDK? The ABAP SDK is a tool set of ABAP libraries, ABAP modules, ABAP classes that you can install in your NetWeaver system and your NetWeaver ABAP stack and that simplify and standardize the way how you access services on Microsoft Azure. It helps you with the authentication, it helps you with the logging, and it also allows you to simplify and abstract the way how you communicate with different services on Azure. The ABAP SDK is available on GitHub, so you can just go to GitHub, use the ABAP Git um, tool that is also available on, on, on GitHub, and then deploy and install the ABAP SDK in your own SAP NetWeaver system. Once you have it installed, it's very easy to leverage and consume services from Azure. In order to show you what you can actually do with the ABAP SDK, let's do a very quick tutorial or run through of a demo setup. All the information is also available at aka.ms slash SAP slash ABAP SDK tutorial. So basically what you can do is use the SAP Cloud Appliance Library to install a NetWeaver ABAP system. You can obviously do this also on your very own system, but I always like to use the Cloud Appliance Library to do some tests without disrupting or interfering with anything else. Then install the ABAP Git um, tool. The ABAP Git tool allows you, it's, it's basically a Git client that allows you to connect and retrieve other Git projects and install them in your NetWeaver ABAP stack. One of these um, tools is the ABAP SDK for Azure. So you can download the ABAP SDK, install and configure it. Once you have done this, then you can connect, for example, to one of these services in Azure and one of these services, the Azure Event Hub. We'll, we'll walk through the configuration quickly, then we'll use the very famous S-Flight model on the NetWeaver stack, um, retrieve some flight information and send this information to the Azure Event Hub, which then will send the information to Azure Logic app, which then in the end just sends an email to, to Office 365. Obviously, this email could have been sent directly from the um, ABAP system itself, but just to show you one of the scenarios, what you can do with the ABAP SDK, we'll take this flow. So let's take a look. We start with the SAP system, where the first thing that I did was install the ABAP Git client. The ABAP Git client actually, after installing it, it's just a, um, a simple copy and paste um, installation to um, install this program, installs this um, Z report. Um, from the Z report, um, you can very easily install then the ABAP SDK for Azure. Um, when, you, when you do this, it actually connects to Git, uh, to GitHub, it retrieves all the services, all the classes, and installs and activates them here in your um, ABAP system. Once that is done, the next thing that you need to do is configure some tables. And again, all of this is obviously also um, documented. Um, one of the most important um, tables to start with is this um, ZRESTConf table. So in, in this table, or sorry, config table, in this table, um, you define um, an interface and also a related RFC destination. So if I um, quickly jump to the RFC destinations, you can see that there's one HTTP server RFC destination that points to my, my Azure system. So this is basically the central entry point, which um, when this whole thing runs in production, obviously helps me to identify um, issues much, much easier. The next thing that I need to configure, and we'll, we'll again go to this config screen here, is the event hub policy. In the event hub policy, I define um, how the connection to my event hub should look like. Um, we, we need to define some policies here. And then um, lastly, the um, final table is this MISC configuration table. 
Here we define that when we send information to this interface, which is our event hub, um, that's a post method. We, we define some, some error messages and stuff like that. But, but that's basically it. Once you have configured all of this, you can already start developing other code and um, yeah, co easily call services on Azure. So in our case, we have created a very simple demo application, a demo upper report that um, yeah, defines some variable, retrieves information from a table, and then it just calls um, our method, the, the event up method basically, to send information from um, this um, flight table into Azure. Before I run this, let's switch to Azure. So in Azure, the first thing that I did is I, I configured an event hub. Um, the event hub um, is called ABAP SDK. It is a certain namespace and a URL to which the ABAP system actually sends um, the events, the, this flight information in our specific case. Once the information is retrieved in the event hub, I created a logic app also in Azure that listens basically to new incoming events in the event hub. Once that is done, I can just um, modify the content, I can parse the content in this specific case, and then um, I, I just create uh, some, some emails or I select some properties like the carry ID, the, the connection flight and stuff like that, and I send um, this information um, to an email address. So it's a very, very straightforward process. Let's go back to the ABAP system and run this report. So you can see the SAP data was sent to the Azure Event Hub, which means when I now switch over to, to Azure and I take a look at the Event Hub, um, you should see that we have an, uh, some events coming in here. Let me refresh this page. So we can see that there were some new incoming events. And now if we switch to the emails, we should see a new email that has arrived, which um, has in the body the carry ID, the connection flight and everything like that. So I hope that showed you how very easy it can actually be to send information from your SAP system into Azure. That an ABAP developer doesn't really need to know all the details about how to authenticate, how to call a certain REST API that is available in Azure, but where you can just um, focus on writing um, ABAP code. If you are interested in this, um, check out these, these links um, and, and get started. Give it a try. It's, it's fairly easy and I think can really help you um, as an ABAP developer to easily consume services from Azure. Thank you very much for watching and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.